Thank you everyone for tuning in to this pastoral message for the Nid Valley Circuit. Thank you for your prayers and messages of support during these difficult times. As a staff team, we've all been so grateful for all the things we've received. We've also been so thrilled to see church still happening despite lockdown, with people connecting with our digital and printed services, amazing coffee morning Zooms, quizzes, pastoral work. Thank you for all you've been doing, whoever you are. Around us, the world is moving into a new phase, beginning to slowly reopen. Some of our friends in other denominations have already tried reopening their doors, but many, like us, have been treading a much more careful line. We have been guided every step of the way by connectional guidance and will continue to do so. This isn't to say we haven't been doing anything to prepare. The circuit leadership team have recently formed a circuit support group to help churches work through reopening checklists, risk assessments, action plans and the staff are keen to let people know that we're working hard and aiming for a phased reopening probably in September but that will depend on the state of the virus at that time. We want to use these summer months to begin to work through all the possibilities and permutations and to be able to get to a place where we can reopen safely. Reopen churches will look very different and reopening will look very different in different locations. We know that there will be no singing to begin with. Everything will be social distance. There's a likelihood that we won't be serving coffee. We'll be having smaller numbers in most of our locations and we may even have to book a ticket to be able to go to church. Probably no communion to begin with as we work out all the different logistics. Different churches may offer different things which are appropriate in different locations. I'm sure you can imagine the complexity of trying to put this together across 14 locations with many of our people in the at-risk categories. Ultimately your health and safety has to be one of our main priorities at this time. As part of our reopening process we're keen to see what's changed in our circuit, what God has been doing during this time. This week hopefully all circuit members should receive a letter from the circuit either through the post or via pastoral visitors calling the circuit to a week of prayer for the week the 27th of July to the 2nd of August asking you to pray every day and to respond also to four key questions. What have we found that we need to keep? What have we found that we need to lose? What have we lost that we need to find again? What have we lost that needs to stay lost? Responses can either be via post or online via SurveyMonkey. The materials are available on the website as is the link to our Survey Monkey. If you go to www.nidvalleymethodist.org.uk If you are a member of the circuit and haven't received the letter then please do get in touch with your minister. On another note, this Sunday is Anne Fox's farewell. A pre-recorded service may be a little longer than some of our recent ones but also after the service an opportunity to join in a circuit coffee zoom to say farewell in person to Anne. If you want to join in the coffee zoom we're not going to publish the link widely. We need you to contact Juliana our circuit administrator during this week or on Sunday Reverend Grace Caldwell will be on hand for those who want the link if you contact her directly. I think it's fair to say it'll be a right good do. Looking ahead the welcome service for the Reverend Leslie Taylor is still due to be on the 4th of September at 7 o'clock. It's highly unlikely that this will be a service that we can gather together. But we're working on ways that we can either live stream or pre-record this. All I can ask is that you watch this space. Thanks again for all your support and prayers during this pandemic. And from the circuit team, be blessed. Keep safe and work with us as we seek ways to move forward together with God. Let us pray. Lord of all time, 
we thank you for the blessings of this time, however difficult lockdown has been for so many of us. Pour out your spirit on us all, on our circuit, as we seek your path and follow your guiding hand. Amen. <laughs>